All right, y'all, so we're back out here at the Rich Redneck Ranch, and today we're gonna go pick up some go-karts. Now, not just any go-karts, custom ones, of course. We've been getting them built for a couple weeks now, and they're finally done, so we can actually go pick them up. They're just sitting in town, they're ready and waiting for us. So, we got the truck and trailer here, this one should do the job. Also, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton, and I'll appreciate it so much. Anyway, I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, here we are. Let's just pull on in here if I can make it around this corner. There we go. Yeah, gum, look at these. Fresh paint looking good. So we got three of these go-karts here. These two here got uh, four wheel suspension, whereas this one, uh, yeah, no suspension. So it, this one's probably going to be a little more rough, but uh, it's a little bit more of a different build. I think we're going to actually take these across the motocross track, probably take them out to the mud bog bunch of different stuff i got some plans but uh, this one has some uh definitely beefier tires on it versus these two but i guess we'll find out which one's faster you know which one's more powerful we we'll fire them up here they kind of sound like a dirt bike sort of ish i think it might actually be a dirt bike motor i'm not too sure there we go just get this loaded up here oh yeah these things are sweet i can't wait to get them back to the ranch there and test them out but the important thing is is they've all got roll cages on them so uh you know if i manage to flip it i think we'll be okay and i mean knowing me i will most likely flip it pretty good chance of it there we go all strapped down here this one does have a hitch i just noticed that not too sure what i'd use a hitch for on this but uh i'll go with it maybe i'll find some sort of use for it i don't know if these are gonna go as fast as like a dirt bike or something considering they do have dirt bike motors in them but i think they're geared a bit differently so i guess we'll have to find out do a little bit of a speed test on them but uh they should be a little more uh, agile than a dirt bike i'd say well maybe not they should ride a bit better at the very least but we'll try it out on the motocross track see how they work uh, I know the one on the back there, it doesn't got much for suspension, so that's probably going to be pretty rough, but it should go through the mud pretty well. It's got those beefy tires on it. Fancy rims, it should do pretty good. I'm on the wrong side of the road. I'd be curious to put it up against like a quad or something. Maybe we'll put it up against one of the side-by-sides or something. Kind of reminds me of like a Polaris Ace or something like that, but I'll see you guys when we get back to the ranch. Well, we're finally back here. Uh, I decided I would take it a bit of a different way than I normally do and uh, wound up in the middle of nowhere. So uh, I managed to get back on the main road. And so we made it back here, but it took a lot longer than it should have. All right, let's get these things unloaded here. And then I think we'll head out to the go-kart track there or the motocross track, whatever you want to call it now, because, uh, well, I think I'm going to call it the go-kart track from now on until we get more dirt bikes, I guess. I don't know if I should have an ambulance on standby or something. I feel like I should, though, considering on how I drive. But uh, yeah, I think we'll, we'll be okay. We'll make it. I don't know where my three-point harness is, but uh, we'll work with it. Fancy headlights, too. Sweet. All right, let's go take this thing out on the motocross track. And look at the suspension on this. Oh, oh boy, we're going everywhere. It is sweet. Hey, horses, get back in your pen. Corners really well. Okay, big jump time. Let's see how it's going to do. I feel like it's not going to do very well. And... Oh, boy. Yep. <laughs> not a lot of air on that one. Oh, man. This thing is slow. I need to get a bigger engine in this thing. Maybe it could just be how the gearing is on it. It does actually fairly well over these little jumps. It's just fairly slow. So I may need to kick up the horsepower a little bit on this thing. But it handles these jumps so dang well. I'm surprised. As long as you know how to drive, of course. If you don't, well, yeah, good luck. Yeah, it just cruises over all these. Better than the dirt bike, I'd say, by far dirt bike just usually bounces everywhere this thing just flies right across this stuff we're in the big old corner let's go first person here hey gum we're flying it really goes down to the it really hits hard in the front if you're not careful okay big jump big jump that actually wasn't as big as i thought it'd be this thing doesn't have quite enough horsepower yet i think a little bit of tweaking to the horsepower this thing could be sweet can i do donuts no no i can't that's unfortunate but man the interior on this thing oh boy we're drifting. As I was saying, the interior on this thing is looking sweet. I love it. We'll get it on down to the uh, mud park there and uh, see how it's going to do. Once you get going down the hill, it really flies. Oh, boy. I'm good. I'm good. I, th I think I'm good. Uh, good thing I got this roll cage. I should have bought one of these a long time ago. These things are sweet. This is definitely not road legal, but you know what? We're gonna we're just going to go down here anyway. Now, you know what? I wonder if you could make this thing road legal. I mean, maybe with some mirrors, license plate signal lights you should be good to go we still got to finish that last part of the mud park there we have been working on it we just uh have been doing a lot of other stuff as well in the meantime oh yeah just sending it through the mud oh it's getting hung up pretty easily though it's not lifted too high off the ground maybe if i put some better mud tires on it like on the other one then maybe it's send it through a little bit better i just don't think it ha it's got the grip at the moment oh almost stuck yep there we go that's it that's all oh man 
Hold on, this gives me an idea. If I get back here, I got the other uh, go-kart with the uh, hitch on it. I could just pull this thing out. Yeah, that should work. Well, it turns out the chain doesn't work with this hitch here, so I guess we'll just try push the other go-kart out. Man, this one flies too. Oh, you know what? We're gonna go take it off some jumps real quick here. It goes a lot faster though. Oh man, I love this thing a lot more. It goes so much faster. I don't know how well it's gonna handle jumps considering the lack of suspension it has. Oh, but it drifts amazing though. Okay, here we go. Big jump time. Oh, 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 that was that was not comfy. I need some better suspension on this thing. Oh man, I'm gonna probably break my back. That I need some bigger tires, either one. Maybe some balloon tires. This thing does get going pretty good though. Okay, let's go get that other one out before it sinks even deeper into that mud pit. Yeah, if this thing had the same suspension that the other one had, it'd be a lot better, I think. But uh, you know, it's still fun, you know? We can fly off everywhere if I don't spit out first. Okay, that that Tokyo drift style stuff well, does not work on this thing i need a drift car is that's what i need out here is i need a drift car maybe i'll get one all right let's go see if we can get this thing out if i'm correct this should do a lot better in the mud and yes it is oh man is this thing ever doing so much better in the mud it's kicking up mud over me though because it don't got no mud flaps but oh man we're almost doing wheelies through this oh yeah this thing just flies through it all yeah, this is the first one I should have took. We'll try to push that other go-kart out there. If we can't, we'll just grab an excavator and I should uh, be able to pick it out of there pretty good. All right, let's just give it a little push. Oh, no, it's not having it. It is not having it. Okay, excavator time. Uh-oh, I might be stuck now. Oh, never mind, we're good. Okay, let's see this here. Drive up nice and easy. Oh, come on. There we go. Just about. Yep, perfect. That's the way you park it. Okay, let's see if this is going to do the job. This thing should just be able to pick this thing right on out of here. So it turns out I can't really uh, reach from that other side of the uh, guards there. So concrete blocks kind of uh, get in my way. So we'll just try this this way. Yep. There we go. Perfect. Got to pick it up now. There we go. We got it out. That's how you do things. Did I break it? I don't think so. We should be good. We're out. It's running. We're good to go. Finally. That took a little longer than it should have, but uh, at least it's out now. I probably could have just brought one of my many, many things with winches and probably just winched this out. But uh, the excavator was more fun. I have my reasons, okay? Oh, yeah. This place without the mud in it right now. Ooh, perfect place for setting jumps. As long as I don't flip this thing first. This thing's just so front heavy. Yep. <laughs> it just goes. Can I make it up the side of this? I'll try. I don't think it's having it. What if I get a running start? Maybe then? Oh, and that's all. <laughs> Also, if you guys do want this mod, I'll have it linked down in the description. I do believe it is on PC and console. Uh, it's on the mod hub. I'll have it linked down in the description if you guys want to go check it out. It's also in a pack with that other go-kart there. And there's loads of different customizations you can do. This mod is sweet. I love it. Okay, let's try full send to the other side now. Let's not get stuck. If I go through the right parts, I should be okay, actually. We're making it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope. <laughs> it does not like it. Oh, man. I was so close. I, I was almost through. Oh, man. Oh, well. Okay, can we push it out with Renegade? Nope. It's <laughs> just going to go on top of it. Okay. And somehow we ended up here. I'm I'm not too sure. Yeah. Let's just let's just get this other thing out here. I need some kind of a, like a wash station down here. I think there's like a portable pressure washer I can buy. It's like super, super cool. I wouldn't mind having one down here, especially at this kind of shack we got down here. It'd be really sweet. We could have a whole wash bay. Oh, yes. We have a whole wash bay. We just pull our trucks in here. We have all our equipment in here. A bunch of different pressure washers and stuff. You could just wash off your trucks. It'd be so nice. Get some gravel laid in here. Maybe some pavement. Who knows? It'd be super sweet. Oh, man, I should do that. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Also, if you're new, consider subscribing. I don't know what I'm going to do with that go-kart there. Probably get it out. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see y'all in the next